Good morning, everyone. Here are the Sanibel Island updates as of January 2nd, 2023. Today's update is a summary of everything open so far for anyone interested in visiting Sanibel or Captiva for the month of January 2023. If I miss something that you are aware of, please feel free to comment down below. Restaurants that are open for dining in are Celio, Mudbug's Cajun Kitchen, Traders, Captiva Pizza, The Sanibel Deli, Jerry's Cafe, The Sanibel Grill, Island Pizza on Sanibel, The Old Captiva House, which is at Twin Waters Resort, and The Shack of Sanibel. Box lunches are being offered at the Green Flash Restaurant, which is on Captiva Island. Food trucks are located at the Blue Giraffe and Huckster's Market in Delhi. For hotel stays, the Island Inn on Sanibel has suite rooms available, but it is limited. I think there are around 12 rooms open at the moment. For Captiva, Tween Waters Resort and Jensen's on the Gulf are both open. For shopping needs, Whitney's Bait and Tackle, Sanibel Surf Shop, Pack and Ship, Barracuda's Beach Stuff on Captiva, the Rachel Pierce Art Gallery, Sanibel Spirits, Jerry's Grocery Store, and the Island Store on Captiva. For entertainment, you can play golf at the Sanibel Island Golf Club or book a cruise with Captiva Cruises. You can rent jet skis, paddle boards, or kayaks with YOLO Water Sports. Uh, Adventure Sea Kayak is open. Captain Brian on the Water is working. Native Guides, Captiva Fishing Charters, um, both of those um, charters are open. Remember, Cabbage Key is also open, so the fishing charter companies can take visitors to the island to visit the island um, and they also have a restaurant that serves the best cheeseburgers ever. So if you're wondering like, why would I want to vis visit Cabbage Key? Uh, it's just a really cool historic island. They have walking paths, they have a restaurant, they have a gift shop. It's just a cool way to spend a couple hours. There are no open beaches or parking on Sanibel. Bike riding by non-local is not encouraged because there is no place to park your car legally. Sanibel police will have illegally parked cars towed. Side note, if you are staying on Sanibel or Captiva by either renting a hotel room or a condo or a house on the beach, you have every right to access the beach in front of the property you are renting. The curfew is still in effect, so I would not recommend walking the beach after 9 p.m. For Captiva Island's beach access, the only option to go to the beach is to get a day pass at Tween Waters for $65, or you can check with YOLO on Andy Ross Lane, Captiva. Um, if you're renting their sports equipment, then obviously you're going to be accessing the beach in that area of YOLO. Thanks for listening.